Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I thought I would do something that I've actually not done on my channel. I think, I'm pretty sure. And that is an apartment renovation. I'm pretty sure I've not done one of those. To be honest, I barely ever do it even not on camera, but I'm kind of in the mood for it. So I am in a San Maishuno today. These ones have both got upstairs, haven't they? They're like the kind of fancier ones. I'm thinking maybe just doing one that is all one floor. Maybe one of these ones, maybe Penny Pizzazzas. Pizzazzas? Pizzazzas? Go. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of everything. Um, actually, I hate that carpet. I hate that carpet in the hallway, but there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, I feel like this is a pretty good shape. Decent size, everything. I quite like that it's a studio, like bed and living room. I don't know, I think they look pretty funky. But anyway, let's go ahead and delete, delete, delete everything. Delete everything because it is all disgusting and it is not my alpha some content. I've been feeling real singing lately. Why has she got like kids posters on her walls when she has no kids? It's just weird. Just weird. Okay, we all know, we all know how we start off a build and that is with the little bright lights. Pow, pow, pow. We have got lights in the apartment. Okay, now we can see what we're doing. We can see that we have a blue wall, we have a brown wall, we have an orange wall, we have a disgusting like purple wall and we've got some disgusting towels. So first things first, let's just make everything white. <laughs> and let's get some nice hardwood flooring down as well. So obviously I'd be clicking a custom content. I've got these recently that are like recolors of the Sims wood and I kind of like them. And then some tiles. I've been loving these tiles recently. These I found when I did my Maxis Match downloading. However, they work beautifully for Alpha as well. So there we go in in the bathroom. If I can choose which one, <laughs> there's just so many, so many nice ones. I think I like that one. One that I've already got down. Maybe it will do like these big tiles for the kitchen. I do like stones. I kind of want to, I kind of want to renovate a little bit and <laughs> knock that down. Okay, change of plan again. We keep that wall there so there is a small divide and then we just put like a pole. We put a pole, put a pole there. When you don't know what else to do, you put a pole there. Maybe we can like do a little bit of a colourful kitchen. I mean, we are doing Penny at Pizzazz's apartment so I kind of feel like she'd appreciate a little bit of colour, maybe. These are beautiful and Max's match it but I don't even care. That's a perfect little nook for a fridge if I do say so myself. Does this come in a matching blue? Oh yes, look at that. I'm loving it already. <laughs> I do love this extractor fan that comes with this set. I must say I'm not feeling the overhead counters just because it's a bit much. I feel like we do open concept so we have like shelving. Oh and a coffee machine. Yes, maybe like a small round one. Bearing in mind it is like a studio flat so you're not really gonna be needing a huge amount of like dining space or anything. So here I am putting like a six seat down because that's just how I do it. Although you can put two chairs with that. Is that like a stupidly big dining table for two chairs? Some may say yes, others may also say yes. I say yes, <laughs> but I keep it, but I'm keeping it. I'm going kind of cottage in and that's not the vibe that I was feeling today. When I want to keep it a little bit more just like colourful, maybe, dare I say it, boho. Wow, Lois, learn something new, get some new ideas. Do I like these? Do I like these chairs, like the backless chairs? Little plants down there, a few little like succulent, oh, a little cactus, a little flowering cactus. Okay, looking good, except for the fact that everything's merging together a little bit. But never mind, never mind, we can look past that. Why have I started on the plants when I've not even finished the kitchen? As some may ask, and I do not know the I do not know the answers to it. I really, really, really want to make use of this because I'm yet to use it, and I really, really, really love it. It's supposed to put dishes in. It is by R8 Free. Hopefully. I downloaded the place that's supposed to go in it. Fingers crossed. Oh yes. Oh yes, we did. Yay. Look at that. They fit so perfectly. Obviously, I will be changing. All the colours, we'll do some blue ones. Maybe we have like a few different colourful sets. Maybe we just go all out with the colours. Like, let's just not stop. Let's start and just not stop. This is cute next to the sink as well. Stack up some yellow bowls. I do love stacking bowls. It makes me real happy when custom content creators let you do it. Oh, a shelf for your lemons. Oh, I've got some like chocolate here. Okay, this can be just as... <laughs> I was gonna say this could be her little snack shelf but snacking on lemons and chocolate seems a little bit odd although I'm not gonna lie I really enjoy lemons and I could just eat a whole lemon does that make me really strange is that strange 
strange thing to admit on the internet. There we go, that is full. And now don't really know what else to put in the rest of the kitchen. Oh, what I have been loving is these backsplash tiles. Okay, let's see if there's a good color that matches the kitchen. I mean, we could go black and white. Oh, we've got this that kind of matches. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at these tea towels. Look what you could have under tea towel. <laughs> like, look at that fish. Can you imagine, like, drowning your pots with that? It seems a little extreme. There's some cute ones, though. I quite like that. All right, I'm loving this kitchen. I think we need, like, a few little colourful mats for you to put your feet on. And then that's it. Just about done. You already know this build is going to be filled with rugs. <laughs> We need a little curtain on here. I don't know, it feels like it could be kind of creepy at night. Downloaded these recolors of the movie hangout one and I just feel like perfect for this kitchen. Either that print or like that print, I think maybe that print. It's cute, it's very cute. And obviously we need some art on this wall. Maybe we could put a tapestry up here. I barely ever put the tapestries in my build. I don't know why, because I do love myself a good tapestry, obviously. <laughs> We're going for some nice big colorful prints around here. Okay, there's the little kitchen area done then. I feel like that's definitely kind of sectioned off enough, you know, that if I put the bed there, it's not weird. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. On to the bed. All right, I already know that I want to make use of this duvet blanket. Let me just show you. If you watch my last custom content haul, that will already be up on my channel. By the time that you watch this, then you should do, because you will see what I download this, but look at it. It is so beautiful. Quite like the headboard on this. I don't really know where to put it. Like, I don't know whether to put it in front of the window or like a little bit behind. I know I need a mattress. Let me get a mattress out. If we just put that up a tiny little bit. Okay, that looks kind of cute. Like just a little bit of a messy, unmade bed. And I need to get some color back in the room because it's looking kind of like pinky. Although if we've got like a blue kitchen, we could do like a pinky bedroom. We could have like colors per room. That might look nice. Oh, okay. Bear with me. This looks looks a little bit like, oh my gosh, see it like some big blinds, don't you think? Technically a tapestry. And I mean, we could put it in this. That's got like a little bit more color in. I've never, never used this. So we'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. I could always come back. Let's give her a nice big mirror to check herself out in. I want like a big standing floor mirror. I love, oh, I love these so much. I want that mirror, it's like window, but it's not, it's a mirror. I love it so much. Trying to work out like how much space we need for everything. So all we really need to do now in here is a living room. So I guess we've got quite a lot of space. Then that kind of fills that space up a little bit. Giving her like a little space to maybe do a makeup. I really like this mirror here. I've like merged them together a little bit. And I know I've got loads of like little individual makeup things. So I'm thinking, let's get a little end table and she can have a proper little place to do her makeup. Look at all this, so much makeup. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger just so you can see it a bit better on some of them. Maybe not all of them, that looks a little bit strange. Probably should have a little makeup bag, but I don't have, do I have custom content makeup bag? Why don't I have that? yeah I've got like custom content everything else there we go a little I'm pretty sure things are floating there but let's let's just swiftly move on bring a little bit of color and the boho vibe is back to it with maybe a nice big Persian rug I love that oh I like it in the blue actually it's kind of tying together some of the colors some I bet some of you are watching this and thinking oh my gosh this is a lot a lot of color a lot of patterns and I agree I agree but sometimes I just like to do something a little bit different okay I'm really loving the little bedroom area I think it's looking real sweet I don't want to put too much more so there we go We've got a little bedroom area, the wardrobe, and then I guess when you come in, you kind of walk straight here. So this is gonna have to be the living room. Yeah, just the living room, I guess. Maybe a study. Maybe we can put like a little computer desk somewhere if we've got some room. So how I'm gonna do this is, let's have a look. Let's find a sofa first. It is kind of section it off using the sofa. So rather than having like the sofa this way, have a sofa that way. Not decided on that sofa yet. <laughs> I kind of want like a colorful one, but maybe pink. I don't do pink sofas very often. Ooh, these come in some nice nice colours. We've got like either a vibrant blue or like a pale pink. I'm kind of feeling the vibrant blue. I think the pale pink will blend in too much with the bedroom. So let's put that there. So this is you. I can never, never say the name. Is that these custom content creators call their items? Okay. Yeah. I like that. Like I said, it sections it off enough. Maybe we can find an actual room divider. I don't know, but I'm gonna have a look what comes in this set because there's some cute things. A little TV stand. We can bring the pink tones in maybe. That TV be a little bit low. <laughs> 
like to enjoy in person. Someone's decided now is the perfect time to mow their lawn and I'm not going to stop recording because every time seems to be a perfect time for us Brits to mow our lawn. Apparently mowing our lawn is our favourite pastime and it is so loud and so annoying so I am sorry if you can hear it buzzing. In the background, blame Brits for being weird about our lawns. Oh, we can have like a little record player, yes. Milo is going crazy about something. Can you hear his little growls? He's like, ah, burr. there's literally nothing outside. Stop with your damn lawn mower, just stop. There's just, there's so, so many better things to be doing with your life. Like so many, so many more better things. Filming Sims 4 videos or watching me on YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe if you're not already. I'm just gonna kindly ask you. Okay, a little living room space done. I think that's looking really cute. I may change some of the wallpaper colours at the end because I know at the moment it's all still very white, but I feel like that's, that's something I do last when I've already decided <laughs> all the stuff, which may be weird, a weird way of doing it. But yeah, we've definitely got the tiniest little bit of room left for a little desk area. Oh, that's a big desk, too big, too big. We need something much smaller. They've stopped mowing the lawn. They've stopped, they've stopped, thank you. Thank you to all the lords who look over the lawns in the UK. It's not even summer anymore. I think that's why I'm getting so mad. Once summer is over, no one cares what your lawn looks like. Okay, I'm doing this little area here because I like that we've got a second shelf that I can put stuff on. We've got some like a little clutter just thrown across there, which I think is a real nice. Some crayons because why not? Oh my God. Oh, my oh, oh. How dramatically did all of these change? Wow. Can even be you ten oh my gosh. That look the the versatility. The versatility. We're having sunflowers though. Okay, little desk area. I feel like it needs another rug. I know you're probably thinking no more rugs. Think of all the hoovering boards. Just just one more. One more never hurt anyone. Oh maybe oh, is that too much? I kind of like the clash of the yellow and the purple. Maybe too much. Oh, right then, I put like a little storage thing down there just so you know a little bit of something, maybe a little stool for a feed. Look at look at how into I'm getting in this build. Like you know, do you want to put you want to put your feet on something? I wish it had come in a matching colour, but I don't think it will. So let's just make it blue. So it really clashes. It's a very colourful build. A very colourful build. I'm gonna go with that, which I'm really not liking that yellow rug anymore. It was it was a little bit too bold. One <laughs> will make it blue. That looks nice. It gives it like just a little a little bit more like sense of togetherness. I've added a little rug here for when you first come in. I would need some kind of side table. Got a little cyber cyberd cyborg cyber what a little cyborg. <laughs> sideboard here that I'm gonna go ahead and put some shoes in if anything turns up in shoes. We've got some high heels. Pe Penny Pizazz is a high heel wearer I feel like and then just a big plant in the corner and a mirror and I feel like I'm not gonna stress too much about the entranceway because I get kind of stressed about them. I just never know like what to put in it. Oh, this one top plant. So it just worries me a little bit. So we're just gonna play it nice and easy maybe a nice big snake plank plant then a nice big round mirror and then a few little decorations and we're gonna call it a day. I, I call it like a key holder. I swear I did. Yeah look how precious is that? Oh you can just hang your keys on it. How handy would that be? I am forever losing my oh we can even have a plate. How look oh Look, look, look at all the keys she got. She got so many keys. I like the little plate one though. Just gonna have a few little picture frames and there we go, a little entrance way. Complete, oh my God, I'm actually loving this. I wanna live here. I wanna live here. I would never decorate with this much color in real life. Too risky and just wouldn't do it. I've forgotten to put light shades on everything. So let me choose out some light shade. We need a nice one over the dining table. Ooh, maybe this rattan one over the bed. Yes, I like those over there. Oh, what is this? That's kind of fun. Oh, purple, yes. <laughs> I'm liking just adding little spots of funky wallpaper. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Okay, we'll leave it like that. It doesn't need anything else. Let's move on to the last little room, which is a bathroom. It's gonna be a very, very, very squished bathroom. But good job, good job. I've downloaded some bath and shower CC by RVSM. We've got this one. Oh, we've got 
that one. I think I'm going to go with that because it's got the like funky shower curtain and I am all about that. A few little accessories in here. I'm not, oh, mirror, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. You need a nice big one when you go into the bathroom. Like, I'm going to add some tiles in because I'm not really enjoying the white walls in here. And just maybe a few plants and a picture. And I'm going to say this build is done. It has turned out so much nicer than, I mean, I was expecting it to turn out nice because I mean, I'm putting effort into my build, so be a bit upsetting if they weren't turning out good. Oh, it is actually a bathroom one because we've got one here. Enjoy, lava, soak, unwind. Really not my kind of style, but at least I know it's a proper bathroom picture. Leave it. Leave it. Take a step back. Take a step back, Lois. There we go. There is the little apartment renovation of Penny Pizzazza's apartment. We start off with the little kitchen here, which I'm rather impressed with. I think it's quite beautiful, quite colourful. It's, yeah, enjoying that a lot. Little dining room over here. The bedroom, so it's like a studio flat, I guess, but I feel like it makes, maybe, maybe it's a little bit weird coming from like your living room to bedroom to your kitchen. Maybe I should have done kitchen, living room, bedroom but never mind it's done now it's done then we've got this cute little living area over here which i really enjoy this little little living area actually nice colors entranceway then of course the little bathroom with the real fancy tiles in so i hope you guys have enjoyed watching me do this chill little apartment renovation it's been a super fun for me to do if you have please make sure to give the video a thumbs up let me know in the comments which is your favorite room i'm gonna say Probably the kitchen, probably the kitchen, then the, then the bedroom. Bedroom's also cute. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.